I'd like to introduce Alison from England, who takes LDM for fibromyalgia and ME. Welcome, Alison. Hello. Could you tell us when you were diagnosed? Yes, I was diagnosed in the January of 2011. Okay. And what were your symptoms like at that time? Very, very bad. Um, so bad, I actually contemplated suicide. Um, very, very bad. Um, the pain was just so widespread and it was the frustration of being passed from pillar to post and, and no doctor being able to, um, you know, said there was anything wrong with me. But yeah, I felt so poorly. Oh dear. So was it just pain or did you have, you know, chronic fatigue? Um, it, no, I didn't have chronic fatigue at the time. Um, it was just pain that had spread and spread, but the pain was so intense. Um, I remember one night just hanging off the edge of the bed and my, do my daughter walked in and said, Mum, what are you doing hanging off the bed? You look like a bat. <laughs> I was just trying to get the pain out of my body. Um, I felt that if I could dangle myself upside down, I just couldn't sleep with the pain. It was just 24 hours. Oh, where about did you have the pain? Um, mainly at the time, even though it's still the same, it's not as intense now, mainly in my neck and my shoulders, though it was all down my spine, but it was ma mainly my head, my neck and my shoulders, which was so um, intense. The pain was very, very intense in those areas. Okay, so when you were diagnosed, how old were you? Um, well, I'm 36 now, so it was about 18 months ago. Um, it was... Well, I'd have been 35, wouldn't I? It would have been yeah. the, the Jan January last year, so yeah, 35. Uh, sorry, 45. <laughs> I'm knocking 10 years off me. <laughs> <laughs> well, I won't tell if you don't. Um, <laughs> so when you were diagnosed, what did your doctor offer you? Um, well, I was diagnosed. I actually diagnosed myself, <laughs> and then I was under the pain clinic. And at the end of the con a consultation, I just burst into tears because they were just offering me steroid uh, in injections, etc. Mm -hmm. And I just burst into tears because it was when I was at my old time low. And I said, I just can't go on like this. Um, and I said to him, I I've seen something on the internet which I think I may have. And he actually said, the consultant said fibromyalgia. I said, yes. So I was glad that he had actually confirmed that rather than me telling him first. Yeah. Um, and then as, as then what happened was he totally agreed. He said, I actually do agree. Um, and from um, them prescribing me one type of medication, he suddenly changed and just, uh, prescribed me duloxetine. And um, I think it was pre-gabalin at the time. But... I have taken many, many different medications and nothing seems to have done anything for me whatsoever. Mm -hmm. um, if anything, they will, they've probably made matters worse. Okay, so at that time, on a score of 1 to 10, 10 being the best, what would you say your quality of life was? Oh, if 10 was the best. I mean, it's, it's really got to be almost a zero because I was just ready. I just didn't want to be here anymore. That's, that's bad, isn't it? So yeah. how did you hear about LDN? Well, it's funny because um, I I had such a bad time and I was actually a, a under a counsellor for, well, a therapist for some C, CBT, cognitive behavioural therapy, mm -hmm. to ease my anxiety. And it was actually um, a gentleman there, the therapist, that knew all about fibromyalgia because he had a pain issue and he, he was a, an ex-nurse and he told me about LDN, so I researched it. Um, and then in my local, one of the local newspapers, there was um, another lady called Alison, actually, mm -hmm. who uh, was on LDN. So I tried and tried to get hold of it, but couldn't. Nobody wanted to know. My doctor didn't want to know. Um, in the end, I emailed the newspaper and managed to get hold of this lady's um, details. And she called me and she told me how to get hold of it. Um, and, and I managed to uh, go onto the internet and, and find um, a website called Prescribe for Me. And, um, and, and I did it that way. Mm -hmm. So when you first started, did you have any initial side effects? Um, well, I actually started it in the November last year. And I started on a very, very minor dose of just half a mil. Um, and within a, about two days, I could feel that the neck pain had eased. 
Um, it didn't take the illness away, but it, it did ease it. And each week I was increasing my dose by another half a mil. Um, and I ended up by the fourth week, um, I, was, I was quite poorly. Um, I just felt really sick and I felt quite depressed. Um, I just felt really sick all the time. Even though I knew it had eased me pain, it had only eased it a little bit. So I came off it and decided to um, try again in January and get Christmas out of the way, which I did. Mm -hmm. um, I realised that three weeks off it, my pain did come back, um, you know, as, as bad as ever. And in the January, uh, beginning of January, I went back on it and I went straight on one mil. Um, and rapidly increased it um, up to eventually like four, four and a half mils. Um, but the problem was, I would say for the first seven weeks, it did. I was getting some benefit from it, but then it just seemed to stop working for quite a few months. Mm -hmm. Would you like me to continue with that? Yes, please, yes. Yeah. Okay, um, I am actually in a group um, on Facebook and I do, I totally rely on them because uh, you, you can't really go to your doctor and discuss it with your doctor. You, you've nobody to help you with this one. Uh, the chemist that I get it from has been very good. I've emailed them and um, they've been very good with their advice. And I've been given lots of different <laughs> advice by people um, and it is that you do need to find the correct dosage increase it, decrease it, take it at different times. And I, I seem to have tried everything, um, but I felt that the pain had come back and it just wasn't going away again. And this went on, well, sort of January, February was all right, March, April. And in fact, it's all way up until this last week um, that I, I've actually, that my chemist asked me, to, advised me to, um, double my dose for a couple of weeks and see what happens. So at one point I was actually on nine mils a day. No, there was still no change. Um, and then I was just, I was actually ready to come off it, but I went back on the group and got such words of encouragement. I don't want to come off it because it's the only thing that has worked for me, even if it seemed to have stopped working for a while. Mm -hmm. um, it is the only thing that has made any difference to my life. So I don't want to come off it yet. But I've got, I was a bit fed up a few weeks ago and I went back on the group and some people said it would them it took six months or nine months for it to start working. Mm -hmm. And also that um, if you get stress, if you find you're stressing, that stress um, and LDN do not seem to mix and it seems to, a lot of stress seems to cancel out the LDN. Um, and also I emailed the chemist where I get it from and they... Um, um, told me to take two supplements with it and they were very good and they sent me um, a tub of each of the supplements free and from about five days ago I lowered my LDN to two and a half mils and I've been taking these supplements and I have been so much better I don't know if that's what it is but I really have been so much better and I'm just keeping my fingers crossed it will continue well that's really good well I do too I mean there are some people who have told me that it has taken between 15 and 18 months for LDN to work for them. don't know why it takes so long in yeah. some cases. Um, and other people like yourself uh, notice benefits straight away. Yeah, um, definitely. Yeah, but it is a case of finding out what dose suits you best. Yeah. You know, a lot yeah. of people think they have to get to 4.5, but 4.5 is too high for a lot of people. It's very funny because when I started on a lower dose and I thought it was working, you're eager to increase your dose because yes. you seem to think that if I still not taking more, <laughs> it will do a better job. Yes. And I mean, I am hoping that this is because fibromyalgia is a very confusing, complicated illness and you never seem to be able to put your finger on what causes it and what it causes a flare up. Um, but like I say, um, you know, being on the two and a half mils, and certainly with these, one of them is omega-3. And I, I do take other supplements as well. I've very carefully chosen them. But the mm -hmm. chemist did recommend that these particular two seem to work very well with LDN. And one of them is omega-3. And the other one is, um, it's called Advanced Res Ver Veritrol Formula. It's all 
Res V twelve hundred. Um, and they do seem to have made the difference as well, I think. Yeah. So I'm going to continue. Good. Well, maybe we can do a follow-up later. Yes, it would be interesting, <laughs> wouldn't it? It would, it would. It definitely would, because I don't want to give up. Um, it's quite funny because the uh, ME consultant, I am under, um, the copy of the letter that I got, which was sent to my doctor, um, I was... It really put me on a bit of a donor because he mentioned that I was taking low dose naltrexone and he said, Ms. Making, um, seems, I think she's already come to the conclusion that it's not doing anything for her. And when I actually read that, I was quite upset because I thought, but it did. It did for two months and it yeah. stopped for two, another two months, but it did do something for me. Yeah. Um, and why it stopped working, I don't know. Uh, but like I said, playing around with the dose, etc. And, you know, like you say, it would be interesting because it's only been this last week that I have had a huge improvement. Mm -hmm. But it seems strange that I have lowered my dose and I have took the two supplements with it, that this mm -hmm. has happened at this time. Um, and I, I don't want to go back on all, those, all that medication again. I really don't. Mm -hmm. I have a friend who, well, she was in my year at school, and I found found out that she has fibromyalgia, and she's had it longer than me. She's been very, very poorly with it. Um, she accepts the illness uh, because she's had it quite a long time, but she is on a lot of different uh, drugs, and she is actually trying to wean herself off um, because she's on um, tramadol. She's trying to wean herself off drugs, and then she can try LDN. But when she's trying to come off the drugs, she gets so much pain. Um, she's in agony, so she can't come off them. But she really wants to try LDN. Um, you know, so so I, I would certainly go down the route of LDN ra rather than the route of going on all, all the drugs that the, the GPs seem to offer you. Well, thank you very much for sharing your story with us, Alison. You're welcome.